Hi y'all, she was seven. <clears throat> okay, so I want to talk about why a lot of men are upset, why they're afraid, why they don't want women to have certain standards, why they don't want women depending on them anymore, and why they choose to be angry, okay? Men are scared, okay? Men have a lot of fear when it comes to women. Men are scared they're gonna lose their money, their freedom, that they're going to lose uh, the fact that they think that they're smart when it comes to dealing with another person such as uh, a spouse, a wife, a girlfriend that ends up really being more intelligent than them in certain areas. And I, I'm not gonna say women are smarter than men, but in many areas, they do have more common sense, as I would call it. And sometimes this makes the man feel inferior. So men are afraid of feeling inferior. Men are afraid of losing money. Men are afraid of women who are going to um, use them. Men are afraid of all these things. And they're supposed to be men. And they're, they're also afraid because in America, I don't know how it is in other countries, but I'm sure there, it's, a, it's similar. In America, the system is more for the woman, especially the court system, okay? Um, so men are afraid. Men are afraid to be with women these days. You know, they feel like they have to protect themselves. They can't do this. They can't do that. They can't let their guard down. They can't pay for a date because they feel like they're going to be taken advantage of, right? They feel vulnerable. Now, ladies, who does that sound like? And what does that sound like? Yes, you said correct. Sounds like they are experiencing womanhood. Yes. They are experiencing what it feels like to be a woman and they want to be mad at us <laughs> that's hilarious okay so man now that you know how it feels to be a woman can you blame us for the way we are because the rules that were set in place are now working against you and it's sad because you are now feeling how women have felt for a long time you're you're afraid you're afraid of being used you're afraid of being played you're afraid of losing your life you're afraid of wasting your time you are afraid of having a child with someone who you don't deem as a good parent you are afraid of having uh, being put in a court system to make you a responsible parent. You are afraid of walking away because you don't want to be held responsible. Okay? Now, women, they are maternal. They're, they know better than to walk away from their own children most of the time. You know, but they are afraid of what would happen if they did decide to walk away from their child. You know, even though there's not a lot of uh, fathers and uh, mothers out there who will admit that they would wish they could just start over and hand the child over to the other parent. Most women make a sacrifice and keep the child, not because of child support, because what if you're broke? What's your little measly 20% of your little measly paycheck anyway? You know, a, a woman stays with her child because she understands that she created that child. That child was a conscious choice. It wasn't an accident and it wasn't a mistake because we have the plan B pill and we can have abortions and we can take birth control. That child was basically either um, a conscious decision on your behalf on the woman's behalf now to a man it's not a conscious decision it is to a degree but if the man is not thinking and he doesn't he doesn't prevent um, you know his seed from fertilizing the woman's egg well oh well now he now he looks at the woman like what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it well then that's putting all the power in her hand 
okay? Now, he has given her the power and saying, okay, do you want to have this child or not? But really what he wants her to say is, you know what, we made a mistake, let me take the plan B pill or let me get an abortion and then blah, 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 blah. But they don't want to talk about a female when they have abortions. Like, oh, y'all, y'all do is have abortions and y'all do that. Women have abortions for two reasons. One, they don't want to carry the seed of a loser that they made a mistake on sleeping with. Or two, the loser cannot afford to take care of them, okay? Or three, they're not ready to depend on you because they don't trust you as a provider and a father. So those are the reasons. Now men are afraid that if they have a child, it's gonna suck up all their money, you know, because they weren't prepared in the first place to consciously procreate. Now, men are now in a vulnerable position, and women are now feeling more empowered, but still they have to protect themselves against men still. So it's kind of like a double jeopardy. Like, you have to be this way, you have to be that way, you still gotta protect yourself, you did it, did it, because men don't take responsibility. And so it has forced the women to become the way they are. You know, it has forced a woman not to have any feelings anymore. It has forced a woman to use a man for all she can get. Why? Because before she was that way, she gave her all. She gave love. She gave trust. But, of course, the man betrayed her. And she was like, you know what? If I'm going to deal with men, I'm going to get something out of it. Because my time is precious. My life is precious. And if I have to deal with these men who are trying to objectify me, trying to sexualize me, trying to use me, trying to uh, feel like they're somebody because they're with me. Well, I'm going to get something out of it too, okay? I'm not going to leave empty-handed anymore, okay? So women have built this shell around them, most of them anyway. The ones who haven't built the shell yet, the ones who haven't built the shell yet will eventually build it after dealing with certain type of men okay so men it's up to you on how you treat women in the beginning okay don't be mad when you come across a woman who wants to use you for your money most of the time that woman has learned many lessons leading up to that point that instruct her that that's all you're good for okay because she hasn't seen anything else she hasn't seen that you're good for this 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 and that she only sees what you're portraying to her if you're interested in her body if you're interested in sex if you're interested in her paying for her own meal if you're interested in her um you know coming to you catering to you she knows that you're a selfish human being that just wants sex so she's going to treat you accordingly okay and women they don't need what the men need okay women can get that from children they can get that from other women. They can get that from sisters, cousins. They can get intimacy because we're naturally nurturing. But men, they can't get nurturing everywhere. This is why they're always after women because a woman can nurture a man, but another man cannot nurture another man. I mean, they can be homosexual. They can be gay. They can share feelings. But there's no nurturing like a woman's maternal nurturing okay that's why a lot of gay men love their moms that's why a lot of gay men look up to uh, you know female icons sisters they always have a best friend who's a woman and it's that sisterness it's that motherness motherliness sisterliness it's that nurturing that they had when they bonded with their mother now <clears throat> When a woman sees a man and, she, and he doesn't fit a respectable provider protector, she's putting him in a category already. Okay, this is not husband material. Use him, finish him, move on to the next one. You know, y'all are just steps to the real man. Okay, and I'm saying this because I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to tell y'all the truth. I mean, I'm not after anybody. I'm already married, but. I'm just, I'm telling y'all the truth so that y'all can act accordingly, 
you know if you come across a woman and you know she's trying to use you and you still interact with her you play the game hoping and praying that she's not really trying to use you but the signs and the red flags are there it's your fault it's your fault you know this woman's out of your league you're still trying to talk to her you know she wants nothing to do with you because you are this this and that but you still try her well eventually she's going to get fed up and she's just going to say you know what I'm just going to use him up because he's not going to learn any other way to leave me alone and go for someone in his own league. So men, for all, for everyone's sake, treat any woman you come across good. And if, she, if you think she's going to use you, then don't even bother pursuing the relationship. The only one thing that that woman is going to leave with is a perspective of you as a gentleman. She's not going to add another layer of her shell because of you she's gonna she might just take one off so even if you don't get with that woman be the most kind most gentle generous gentleman that you can be so that women eventually will shed their shell you know our shells have been built by the men who that we have to protect ourselves from so if you're not one of those men a layer of that shell just might fall off and the next time we meet another man if he treats us the same way another layer of that shell might come off and eventually we might start looking for love again first and foremost we might but until y'all change we have to protect ourselves because we have no one to protect us y'all are all steady trying to get our sex y'all are steady trying to use us y'all are steady trying to play tricks on us y'all are steady trying to make us pay to go out with you no, we have to have a wall because y'all have taken the role of a female. So we don't see men anymore. We just see wallets. At least I do. And <clears throat> I'm not saying I see all men like this, but if I had to date in this day and age, I would see all men as wallets. Why? Because I don't see any value in them anymore. You know, what can they do for me? without it starting a controversy if I ask them, you know? Oh, you know, um, can I, can, can you take me out to lunch? Oh no, you gotta pay half. Oh no, I don't roll like that. Whoops, what do I need you for? Bye, Psh. you know? I could get, I have had women friends take me out to eat and pay. You know, I mean, if men, stop being so afraid and scary and you know feminine maybe women will respond to them better and not just see them as money okay if y'all start acting like gentlemen and men again maybe women would see you a lot different but right now we see you as whiny toddlers who are afraid of the world that's how we see you and with the with with a wallet you know so you know men men with money they know how to treat women so we don't see them like that but men who are here and they think they're somewhere they're really not they oh I make uh, this much and oh that's enough to take care of a single person that doesn't impress me okay when women look for men they don't look for single salary imp you know that's impressive you know yeah you make that much money oh good for you but can you take care of a family no that's not enough money to take care of family bypass okay don't come bragging about how much money you make if you can't take care of a family okay we don't care that's not enough okay do better keep going date casually until you get to that point okay all right so i'm going to end it at this ladies thumbs up if you agree Men, I know y'all gonna troll my video, so go ahead. The more comments and whatever, the better for me. Either, either way, I benefit. Oh. <laughs> and if y'all are lonely because it's the holiday and you just didn't, couldn't afford a woman this year, the strip clubs are always open. <laughs>